Okay, I think I'll be recording. I left my gimbal behind, but I made it up here again for the final chapter of uh, the Gospel of Mark. Um, so here we go. Yeah, I, like I have some gratitude things, like this is one of the windiest places in Ireland. And um, we've had some extraordinary gale force winds over the last few weeks. The first one turned my static 90 degrees and ripped the roof off. Uh, the, and then we repaired that. The second one turned me 45 degrees and put me off my base and that's been sorted. And the last one did no damage at all. And I'm so grateful to Fergus and Joshua and Patrick and Tom and Fred and everybody that helped because um, Stacy the Static now withstands the storms. So it's a, it's a small thing, but it makes me really happy. And I need to build an outside sort of porch, even though it's only a visiting place, a horticultural hub, a tool storage place. Um, but I, I, I do love the outside, as you'll see from my video yesterday in the parochial gardens. And just while I'm rambling, um, a, a, a Fina Gale counsellor that I met um, is now trying to raise funds to make a recreational park uh, on the land that Mr Gilson left to the town, including a skate park and another playground. We've already got an €80,000 playground. But anyway, I remember talking to Richard Kilroy about that and saying the Japanese are great at making sort of um, adult exercise accessories in their public spaces. So it's quite innovative. Whether Sarah Riley, I think her name is, will secure the funding, I don't know. Johnny Girk secured, I think it was a million. But uh, I did make a video yesterday asking for the parochial gardens to be upkept. I do sometimes move the stones and do a bit but I'm not able at the minute I'm sorry about the lighting and everything that's why I want to set up a perfect outdoor filming place there comes the sunshine wow look at that thank you thank you Jesus there comes the sunshine right let's get on with Mark chapter 16 and this is quite controversial in as much as some people say that the last few verses of this book gospel are superimposed, and I don't, I don't think I buy that. I, you know, all this sort of trickery about oh, this has been changed, that's been changed, oh, you can't trust it. I, I believe God preserves His word and it's anointed, and I do dip into the um, apocryphal books. You know, but um, dogmatic uh, preaching is not my cup of tea at the minute. I think we all need to be searching for where are we on God's timeline. So here we go. I'll try and hold this steady and I'll read chapter 16. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. So I wonder if who, uh, we all know who Mary Magdalene is, but Mary, the mother of James and Salome, is that Jesus' mother? I don't know. And very early in the morning, please join my group on Facebook, um, The Woman at the Well, a Christian group for the non-religious, because I, I really want to hear, listen as well as talk. Anyway, it says, Chapter uh, verse two, and very early. Oh, Ruby wants to go out. Very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun, and they said among themselves, "Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre?" Because these stones were gigantic, right? It's all right, Ruby. I'll let you out in a minute. Just be patient. And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away. For it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man 
sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. Now this was an angel, and sometimes angels just look like normal people. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way. <laughs> Toadstool, Homestead 7, they say that, go your way. They don't want to fight with people, they just say go your way, you know. Charmaine says, bless and block. Well, <laughs> she's currently blocked me and hopefully blessed me too, you know. Charmaine and Paul helped me a lot with this uh, project. But um, Evan, Evan, nobody's heard from Evan since Monday. Pray for Evan. He's going to be 16 in April. Ay, 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 what a voice he is. And yet, you can't put an old head on young shoulders. Ruby, just be patient, sweetheart. Okay, but go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, as he said unto you. As Jesus said. You know, when Jesus said things like, some of you won't even taste death before I come back. You know, he meant it. I don't like to hear preachers saying, oh, believe what Jesus said, believe the word, believe the word. But they're not believing some of the word, you know. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and they were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, and man is italicised, I wonder why, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene. Now I have a thought, revelation thought, that Mary Magdalene was supposed to be, actually be the first Pope of the church. But Peter and James were so jealous that Jesus told her more secrets than he told anybody else. I think they did a coup d'etat on Mary Magdalene. And she foolishly submitted and, and didn't fight them. But anyway, look. Now when Jesus was risen early this first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. Here we go, like cray cray. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven, as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And here's the bit that is disputed as to whether it was really in the gospel. And he said unto them, Go ye unto all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptised shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. For those that say there is no God the Father, there is no God the Holy Spirit, there's only Jesus... Jesus sat at the right hand of his Father and our Father, the Creator. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. I love, I just love that chapter. And uh, there was a couple of things I wanted to say. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, speaking in tongues, I think there are godly tongues and there are demonic tongues. The devil counterfeits everything good that God does. Everything good. And um, I also can testify firsthand over and over and over again of miraculous healings and miraculous signs and wonders. Um, and that's it. Uh, the sun is shining. And um, I apologise to the neighbours that bought my home. Uh, the post, the posts are not newly installed. I'm informed they were there for years. So nobody's come to my land and p put posts in. Um, and I and I must say I am allowed to enjoy peaceful uh, visits here. This is the first one because the last time I had my uncle Jerry used to say, "There's no such thing as bad weather, only inappropriate clothing." And I stupidly came to the field last time in trainers and uh, I slipped on the mud again. And I was like bedroom bound for a couple of days, a few days. And I haven't been out since, until yesterday. But this time I've got my walking boots on and my son walked me up here and he'll come and collect me. So that's the end of the Gospel of Mark. And um, I don't know how... You know, I'm like staring into the sun, but again, this is my happy place. God bless you all. And go to Facebook, The Woman at the Well, a Christian group for the non-religious. Funnily enough, my my gospel readings, my Bible readings, only get 50, 70 views. But if I do YouTube drama, 300, 400, you know, whatever. But it's okay. These are the most important to me. God bless people. Don't give up.